Do you like potato chips? How about Reese's peanut butter cups? Well, if you like both of these, then you might like the new Reese's potato chips big cup and you'll get the best of both worlds. Today we're going to review and show you some unique and weird American two-in-one snacks that may surprise you. Stay tuned. What's up Curio fam? Welcome to the Curio Vlogs. I'm Johnny. This is my clone J2. What's up guys? And my wife and boss, Tanya. Say hi babe. Hi guys. First of all, let me say thank you for joining us. We've been looking forward to making today's video. We have two-in-one snack products that we're going to show you and taste test and let you know whether we would buy them again or not. We're also going to rate them as well for you. Don't even make me think about trying these disgusting snacks. You can count me out of this vlog, Johnny. J2, don't worry, you weren't going to be in the vlog anyway. Why don't you go to your room instead? Wow, I can't believe you're talking to me this way, Johnny. Just so you know, I told my girlfriend some very positive things about you, but I'm not so sure now if I want her to meet you. You're overreacting, J2. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I apologize. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I can forget this conversation ever happened if you just let me rub Tanya's feet later. What do you say? No way. That's not going to happen, J2. Good try, though. But we have to continue recording this vlog, so I'll talk to you later. What do you think, Tanya? Can I rub your sexy feet? J2, you need to behave. So is that a yes or a no? No. That's enough, J2. Why don't you go rub your girlfriend's feet? That's a great idea. I'll call her right away. Catch you later, Curio fam. Wish me luck. Sorry about that, guys. Before we start, I have some shout outs. First shout out goes to Aaron Morrison, the first to comment in our last video. Next shout out is for Faith Hull. Thank you. Gina Voss. Thank you so much. Wendy Wendy. We appreciate your support. Carol Barnes. Thanks for watching our videos. And Catherine Williams. Thank you so much, Catherine. We appreciate it and we appreciate everybody's support. Okay, guys. Hi, guys. The snacks that we have here today are definitely very unique. Before we bought these a few days ago, we didn't know they existed. That's true. So, we're going to start with the first snack. It's a combination of oatmeal and Lucky Charms cereal. Well, it's not so much a snack. It's a breakfast food. Breakfast food, yeah. It's the Lucky Charms oatmeal by General Mills. We have made the oatmeal portion of the packet and it tells you to microwave it. Just put in half a cup of water and microwave it for a minute. And then when you're done, you add on the little toppings. Topping. So let's see what the toppings look like. You ready, babe? Ready. They're probably going to be, yep, I was right. I don't know if y'all can see them. What is it? The marshmallows? Marshmallows like... Like the cereal. Like the cereal. Hard little marshmallows. <laughs> kind of funny, but whatever. <laughs> All right. It works. Let's, well, we're going to try it out, guys. Well, let's mix them up to soften them. You don't have milk this time, like cereal. Right. Kind of different. You want to show it to them first? Yep. Go ahead. So you have marshmallows. And look and oatmeal. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Let's see what we got. It might be hot, babe. Very interesting, different. It's very sweet. The oatmeal is sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, the marshmallows make it even makes it even sweeter. But the marshmallows get soggy right away. I mean, as long as you mix them up. I like it. We're going to rate all these products from 1 to 10. I give this a 3. What about you? I would give it a, a 3 as well. When we first put in the marshmallows, I did not like the texture of the marshmallows. Just like I don't like the texture of the marshmallows when I eat Lucky Charms. Right. They were very, very mushy. Well, when I got them, they weren't mixed in and they were hard. So you get different types of bites. Yeah. You, you got to eat it right away if you want the marshmallows to stay 
firm. There's no consistency. They're either like there's one right here that I can pick out that is still very firm and then there's this one that's that is like you can see my fingers that's soggy so right. there's no consistency to the marshmallows and that bothers me because I prefer the soggier versus the hard I think you're the opposite right I, I, yes I just think uh, I'll stick to the Lucky Charms cereal <laughs> not with oatmeal but would you buy this product again no I would not I wouldn't either it, it's okay but I I mean, if it's all I had to eat, I'd eat it, but I would prefer just to eat regular oatmeal. Okay, the next product we're gonna try is a combination of almonds and dill pickles. And what we're trying are spicy dill pickle almonds that are made by Blue Diamond. This one's gonna be interesting. Here they are, guys. We're going to try them out. You can smell the pickle just by opening them. I'll let you try them to tell me how spicy they are first. I don't need any spice, guys, so... It's mild. It's okay. not too bad. Let me try one more. The spiciness gets you in at the end. It gets you in your little tongue. Mm-hmm. I definitely have to say that there's a very strong sense of dill right I on, on, on these almonds as well as the the kick of the spice you yeah the spice is mild you feel it mild for him but not for me you feel it towards the end you know once you're getting ready to swallow the almond but I really do like the dill flavor <laughs> in these almonds he likes pickles a lot. That's I love what. sour stuff. I love pickles. So, I don't know. What's your rating? I'll let you rate first. I'll give it a rating of 7. I'll rate it as a 3. 3? Okay. Would you buy them again? No, I would not because I can't eat them comfortably. Would you? I would if my teeth weren't bothering me so much. That makes Because sense. I do like them. I would buy them again because I like them, but I probably won't because of my teeth. So I know who's going to eat them. Who? Christian. And J2. And J2 is not going to eat them either because his teeth bother him too. Oh, okay. Our son Christian likes sour stuff like his daddy, so he'll be the one to, and he likes hot stuff, so he'll be the one to enjoy these. So yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good in my opinion. The next product is a combination of potato chips mm. and Reese's peanut butter cups. Let's find out what this is about. It's the Reese's potato chips big cup. I can't wait. I love chips. Okay, well let's try it out. You want me to open it or you got it? I got I can handle this one. All right. <laughs> Tanya's been eyeing this one, guys. I've been eyeing it for a while. Looks just like a regular Reese's Peanut Butter it, Big Cup. It does. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever tried any of these uh, snacks that we're showing you today. We just cut it in half and we heard the crunch of the potato chips. chips. That was so cool. Can you see them? I can't, but I don't know. I'm blind also. I really can't see the potato chips, but they're supposed to be in there, guys. Check it out. I'm gonna cut it in a quarter because there's no way I'll be able to eat all of that. But let's see if you all can hear the crunch. No, not as much. Oh. All right, you ready? Oh, there's a piece of potato chip right there. I'll I think you can one. see it. There's some potato, a piece of potato chip right there, guys. <laughs> Looks interesting. All right, let's do it. I'll eat the one with the chip. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. This is really good as well, but I really don't taste the potato chip at all. It's just like eating a regular Reese's peanut butter cup, although you just have that texture, that crunch. That's it. Nothing different than the regular peanut butter cup, aside from the crunch. I That's agree it. with Johnny. I was a little disappointed because I really wanted to taste the chip, 
all I felt was crunch. It's highly overpowered by the chocolate and the peanut butter. Right, exactly. What do you think? What would you rate it as big? I'm going to rate it at an 8. Only because I love Reese's peanut butter cups. It would be a 10, but since I didn't really taste the potato chips, I'll give it an 8. God, this one's really a hard one. I was really looking forward to tasting some potato chip, which is what I like a lot more than peanut butter. So I'm going to give it a 4. 4. I'm not a big Reese's peanut butter pers cup person. I was merely looking forward to this because of the potato chips. So would you buy it again? Yeah, I would. I would not buy it again because I, I really don't need much of a peanut butter cup to be happy. In fact, the little quarter I ate is more than enough for me for probably another month. And like I said, I was really looking forward to, to the chip portion. All right. All right, guys. The next product is a combination of donut shop coffee and marshmallows. Mm, That's got you wondering, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I love coffee and I love marshmallows. Me too. Although I haven't drank coffee in quite a while. It's been years. But I'm curious to see what this tastes like. Yeah, I've never had them together. So I don't know if I'm going to be kind of disappointed. We'll All find right. out. <laughs> And what we're going to try right now, guys, is the original Donut Shop Coffee Peeps. Peeps. All right. I love Easter time or any holiday because there's peeps for every season. But I really, really love peeps. All right. Let's see what we have here. And here are the original Donut Shop Coffee flavored Peeps. And let me tell you guys, we can smell the coffee. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really intense. It's strong. All right. Let's share one. All right. Cheers. Wow. I like those a lot. You get the taste of coffee. Not too strong not too subtle just right i was expecting like a bitter coffee mm. taste but it's a perfect balance i like them a lot you like the sweetness yeah the it's sweetness like, is just right it's, it's not like too if sweet you have a nice coffee like a nice cup of warm coffee just not warm and in marshmallow form because of the sugar yeah it's good it's good what do you rate it babe Considering I like marshmallows a lot and, and I like, and and like, I like chocolate. I like peeps. Yes, not just marshmallows. I like peeps. I like both. But I like peeps more. And I do like coffee. And I like the fact that I don't even have to drink hot coffee. I'm getting the best of both worlds with this. As much as I didn't think I was going to enjoy these, I actually did. And I'm going to rate them as an 8. I like them, but I don't eat uh, very sweet stuff often. So I'm going to give them a 7. Okay, that's fair. Would you buy them again? I definitely would buy them again. I and would you? too. I would buy them again. Okay, guys, the next snack is a combination of chili and cheese and corn chips. Mm, sounds good. And it's the Doritos 3D Crunch Chili Cheese Nacho flavor. I'm very excited to see these 3D Doritos. Alright, let's try them out. I'm curious about these because of uh, they're supposed to be what 3D? And here they are. Tanya said they look like bugles. That's exactly if they had the hole on the bottom, I would be able to put my finger on them and wear them like a little nail. They look exactly like a bugle. Let us know in the comments below if you all remember bugles. And wearing them like finger downs. Yes. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Let's see. They're pretty good. I like them. The only thing is, I've had chili cheese Fritos yeah. in the past. And I would say that I like those better because the chili cheese flavor is more pronounced in the Fritos. I agree. But it's not so pronounced in these Doritos. It I taste more of the nacho cheese, but just a, a hint of the chili cheese. I wish it was more pronounced. More pronounced. And there's also a, a kick of 
something spicy to them. Yeah, there is. They're good, and okay. and they're nice and crunchy since they're they're 3D shaped. You know, you get a oh. good crunch on them. Or maybe they're made of something a little different, like whatever. I don't know what bugles are made of, but they're very similar. Yes. They so were good. Yeah, I agree. They're different, something different and good. So what would you rate them as, baby? Um, I'm gonna rate them at at a seven, only because, like I said, I wish that the chili cheese flavor was stronger, but I I still like them a lot. I I too would give them a seven. They were fair. You know, they weren't terrible by far. They were, you know, you saw both of us continuing to eat them. I, I'm just, yeah, I wanted to taste the chili flavor and it was more cheese. Right. It was just like regular nacho cheese Doritos pretty much. So would you buy them again? Yeah, I would. You would? What I about would, you? I would too. Even though I didn't get the chili flavor as, as strong as I'd like it, I would buy them again because I did enjoy the, the texture of, of the, and the crunch of biting it. Okay guys, so this next product that we're going to try is a combination of milk chocolate and cocoa pebbles. And that sounds like a delicious combination. The cereal? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. And it's called Cocoa Pebbles Milk Chocolate Candy Bar. Alright, well let's try it. Let's yep. see what it's all about. I haven't had Cocoa Pebbles in a long time probably since the kids were little right all right okay, there it is guys, so here's some here's the front you just see regular chocolate candy bar but on the back you can see some of the cocoa pebbles or some something in there something crunchy yep and it has to be of course the cocoa pebbles all right let's so. dig in Okay. Two pieces. Okay. Oh, you didn't choose me, but it's okay. Mm. So what do you think? I didn't really taste any cocoa pebbles, but I had some pretty hard chocolate. I felt the crunchiness of something in there, but all I can taste is milk chocolate, but it actually tastes like a lower quality milk chocolate. It doesn't taste like good quality chocolate. So, I mean, it's sweet, you get the chocolate flavor, but I can tell the difference between a good chocolate and a not so good chocolate as far as quality. What would you rate it? I would rate it as a two. I do like chocolate, but like Johnny said, it, it's just, it doesn't, it's not a good tasting chocolate. And there was no cocoa pebbles that I could even detect. It was, it was very hard to even bite onto. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give a rating of one. So I definitely wouldn't buy it again. Nope, me either. <laughs> Sad, sadly disappointed. All right, the next product is a combination of key lime pie mm -hmm. and chocolate covered wafers. That sounds interesting. And it's the key lime pie Kit Kat. Okay, let's see what we have here. Very pretty little color. All right, guys, here it is very cute little color definitely resembles key lime colored food cheers cheers mm. that's very interesting i like it i've never had key lime pie nor have i but i can taste whatever yeah. whatever i can imagine key lime pie is it is not false advertisement at all. It tastes, it tastes good. really good. You can taste the lime. Whatever they put in that pie, you can taste it in here. What do you think? I, I agree. I, I'm surprised because after some of the stuff we've tried, I, I didn't think it was going to be legit. But no, it definitely is. And for the price, you really can't beat it. And it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it seems like the lime freshens up the taste yeah. kind of like it lightens it up it doesn't feel That's so true. heavy I, I can't explain it too well but it's just a fresh tasting mm -hmm. chocolate candy bar yeah that, that's a good a good way to describe you know it I mean? it does freshen it up um and you don't have yeah you don't have that heavy chocolate right it, it has some chocolate but not a lot yep 
in there and and it has it's a really pleasant tasting candy uh kit kat we've had the matcha one and that one was wasn't very appealing to us and regular kit kats they're good as well but this one is surprisingly very good very unique mm -hmm. i give it a rating of seven and you be i would give it a seven as well i'm giving it a good rating because i liked it but i don't think i would buy it again like johnny i also wouldn't buy it again um it did taste really nice but i'm not a big candy eater i prefer cookies and cakes so chocolate candy bars is not my thing and that's the reason i wouldn't buy it again the next product i'm really looking forward to it's a combination of fruit loops and pop tarts and i love strawberry pop tarts yes she does <laughs> And what we will be trying is the Fruit Loop Pop Tart. Like most things that Johnny couldn't heat up in the military, Pop Tarts or whatever he'd received was one of those items. So he isn't used to warming up Pop Tarts. I, on the other hand, usually do. <laughs> so for this video, we won't be warming up our Pop Tart. We'll be trying it. A la Johnny. A la Johnny? All yes. right. <laughs> so we got a very cute bow tie Fruit Loop Pop Tart. And let me tell you that just taking it out of the little package, you can smell the Fruit Loops. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Very strong scent of Fruit Loops for sure. And if you look carefully, that's right. The I little circle in the middle of the bow tie is a Fruit Loop. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure if the filling is also Fruit Loops, but we'll find out. Okay, let's see. Mm. Wow. Tasted like Fruit Loops. Exactly, just... With bread. Pure Fruit Loop flavor. Yes, the inside is 100% Fruit Loop. This little red filling definitely is not strawberry or... Nope any other flavor it is fruit loop it tastes like fruit loop with crust yeah pretty much <laughs> it's pretty unique if i warmed them up and i ate them i'd probably really like them warmed up what did you think babe it wasn't too sweet i was expecting it to be super sweet but it wasn't it was just the moderate sweetness definitely fruit loop flavor <laughs> what would you rate it i would rate it as a seven it, I really like strawberry um, Pop-Tarts. Those are my favorite. And this one is good. And like Johnny said, it wasn't like an overkill sweetness. But it's not something that I could say like, Oh, I can't wait to have another one. It, it was good. and But nothing that I, I really, really want to have again. I would give it a four. Only because I prefer other flavors. Even though I like Fruit Loops. But just not in a Pop-Tart. So would you buy it again? No nor would i it was good to try and it, it like i said it tastes good it might be good for little kids just like what pop tarts are for something fast to go and to eat before going to school but we're not in that phase anymore where we have to hurry up and get going with the kids so i i, I wouldn't buy them again myself guys if you're liking the video so far click the like button and if you're new and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing most of the things we found for this video were sweets, you know, candy or sweet stuff. We searched the you whole know, store. Yeah, <laughs> we, we searched several stores actually for a unique and weird snack combination type products. And this is what we were able to find. But we were still, you know, curious about how everything was going to taste. Really but we sweet. have a few more uh, snacks. So make sure you stick around. A lot of the stuff happened to be cereal combinations with stuff that was an interesting observation there was lucky charms golden grams fruit loops tricks captain crunch and captain crunch those were the majority of the things that we could find okay the next product is a combination of pretzels and a Reese's peanut butter cup and i love pretzels and you love peanut butter cups that's right <laughs> and it's the Reese's big cup with pretzels here we go guys you can see a pretzel right right in there 
All right, ready? Mm. All right, that was pretty much just like the potato chip Reese's peanut butter cup. Just a bit more crunchy because the pretzel is a bit harder than the chip, but it tasted just like a regular Reese's peanut butter cup yep, with a I, crunch. I agree. I, I was really looking forward to that pretzel. So yeah, I mean, like I said before, I love Reese's peanut butter cups. I would give it a rating of an eight, and you babe? I think I would give it a rating of a, I guess a six. I did enjoy the little texture of the crunch, but like I've mentioned often before, candy bars are not, or candies like this are not my thing. It's cookies and cakes, so this really isn't for me. So I, I, I would not buy it again. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I would just stick to the regular Reese's peanut butter cups. I would rather just, instead of, I can do away with the crunch and just bite into the soft, smooth peanut butter instead. So yeah, none, no more for me. <laughs> All right, guys, the next product we're gonna try is a combination of Captain Crunch cereal and popcorn. All right. Interesting, right? Yeah, it is. And what we'll be trying is the Smart Food Mary Berry Popcorn Mix. It's a limited holiday flavor, just to let you know. This one's uh, a very unique product, in my opinion. And here you will see the Captain Crunch Berries in holiday colors in green and red with the smart food popcorn that's pretty cool but you could just buy the popcorn and the captain crunch cereal and just and mix, mix it, it up. up yeah you know that's what I true mean? let's see i like captain crunch crunch berries you gotta try to it. eat them alone dry you gotta try it together oh sorry so i'm getting sweet and salty Considering I like dry cereal a lot, I prefer to eat my cereal completely dry and to pick it out of a Ziploc baggie. I do like it a lot because uh, I'm not getting soggy cereal and I like popcorn. So it's a win-win for me. And you? All I taste are the berries. The crunch it, berries? You lose the popcorn flavor for some reason. You know what I mean? I really like popcorn, but like I said, I can't really taste it at all. Can you? It, well, when you bite, when you take popcorn and a berry at the same time, you don't taste the popcorn at all. Right, because the crunch berries overpower in, in taste, and I do agree with that. Unless you eat them separately. Individually, yes. Then, you know, it might be different. So what's your rating? I would rate mine as a five. It It's good. It's just not something that I would mix together, per se. The crunch berries, I like those alone. And I like the popcorn alone. I like it separate. Yeah, me too. I like popcorn alone, especially uh, cheese popcorn. And I never really would eat too much Captain Crunch cereal when I was a kid. You know, I'm not a big fan of it. It's still good. It's sweet, but it didn't impress me too much. So I give it a I give it a two. A two? Yep. Would you buy it again? No. <laughs> no I didn't think so. Would you? I don't think I would buy it again either. I like crunch berries alone, and I I like the smart food popcorn, but it's like Johnny said, I like the, the cheese, the white cheese flavor, not just the regular popcorn. If I'm gonna eat regular popcorn, I'd prefer to have popcorn and a pickle versus popcorn and crunch berries. All right. So this is what curiosity got us. Well, that's who we are, the Curio Show. That's right. Because we're curious. curious. <laughs> Okay, and the last product is a combination of red velvet cake and chocolate chip cookies. And this product is called Chewy Chips Ahoy Red Velvet. Red velvet, I know, is always very red, so let's see what these look like. Red velvet Chips Ahoy, guys. They accomplished the red. Interesting. Very interesting. Cheers. 
All right. Oh, it has a filling inside as well. Cream cheese filling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay. And cream cheese flavored chips. They're sweet. I don't really get the red velvet flavor. I get the cream cheese. I, I taste that, mm -hmm. but it's actually a little too sweet for me. It's not super sweet, but it's just a little too sweet for me. What do you think? It was very sweet for me. It hurt my, my teeth. I could mainly taste the cream cheese and chocolate chip cookie. What would you rate this as, babe? I would rate it at a three. Three? And you? I like cookies a lot, but not the, not this cookie. I would rate it as a two, I think. And I definitely would not buy them again. Yeah. Three? No, I wouldn't buy them either. So, eh. I I foresee these sitting here for a while before they get thrown away. I was actually the most excited about these. Yes, the packaging we is very nice. Mm -hmm. And it kind of pulls you in when you see them. But no, they're not all that, guys. We had to go to a, a single store just to find these because we looked at multiple stores before we found the store that sold them. Right. So it's sad that it wasn't what we thought it was going to be. Yeah. But hey, at least we got to try 11 products. Interesting products. We wanted to mainly just show you these products because they were unique and some weird with the hopes of maybe giving you all an idea of what they're like in mm -hmm. case you all have seen them and have been thinking about buying them. So I hope this helped. But now I guess I'm going to eat some tamales. <laughs> <laughs> that's a food combination. It's cream cheese and chicken. We should have done those. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but, right. Oh, well, that's well, nothing strange. It's common. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you're new or you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. You can find us on Twitter at The Curio Show and the letters YT. And with all that said, I want to thank you for watching. Y'all take it easy and stay curious.